So a lot of you guys know the job of a cybersecurity analyst is to investigate incidents. But you might be wondering how we actually do it behind the scenes. Like if we suspect an email is phishing or an application is a malware, how do we actually confirm this in a safe way? The best way we investigate this type of incidents is through a sandbox. So in this video, we'll go through what is a sandbox, why it's so critical for us in cybersecurity, and how we actually use it in the real world for our investigations. Let's talk about what is a sandbox. In simple terms, a sandbox is like an isolated environment from your main environment to allow you to do basically whatever you want. We can think of this as like a kid in a playground playing in a sandpit. It's a contained space which allows the kid to play whatever they want without worrying about messing up the rest of the playground. In cybersecurity, these sandbox environments are created using isolated virtual machines which could be Windows, Mac, Linux, whatever you want. Now why do we need these sandbox environments in cybersecurity? As you already know from the intro, this kind of isolated isolated environment allows us to safely investigate malicious software or phishing emails. These isolated VMs are created and disposed of on demand, so nothing is really saved and nothing is really connected to your primary system. A lot of sandbox providers also allow you to record all the background processes that happen when you execute a program or go on a website. So everything is locked against multiple threat intelligence feed, which is very important for us in an investigation. Sandbox can also be used for testing and deploying new applications. This is especially useful for developers to see the expected behavior and also the unexpected ones so they can iron out any bugs before it goes into production. Now you might be thinking that it's very tedious to always spin up a new virtual machine whenever we need to do an investigation. And it actually is, but this is where Anyrun comes in. Anyrun is basically a sandbox service provider which allows you to easily spin up a virtual machine in seconds and we can either upload a file or go on a website. We can also decide if it's connected to the internet. Our sessions can also be shared with the team or to public, which means the community can learn from your investigation, which is really important in cybersecurity. Once the session has been launched, we can just do whatever we want, like clicking into a phishing website, opening up a malware. All the background processes will be locked down here. So we can see HTTP requests, all the connections that was made, and DNS requests and any threats detected. Once our session finishes, and Iran will provide a verdict on whether or not any malicious activities or threats were found. We can also get a list of indicators of compromise. This is very useful for us so we can take action. For example, we can confirm here is phishing, so we can export all the relevant IP addresses and URLs and block them off in our security systems. My company also uses this platform and we've been able to perform our investigations better. So I would like to say thanks to Anyrun for sponsoring this video and for providing a nice sandbox solution. So if you're interested in Anyrun, make sure to check out the link in the description below. So now that we know how to use the sandbox environment for manual investigations, how can we make this process even better? We can look into automating this entire process. Using Anyrun as an example, we know that for every session, it would output all the relevant IOCs and the verdict of the session. Then we can fit it into an automation to allow automatic remediations. For example, I've built an automation workflow for suspected phishing emails, which initiates a sandbox environment so Anyrun can automatically perform web crawling on that email. So any websites, hyperlinks, and hidden URLs will be exposed and scanned. Once the scan has been completed, the automation retrieves all the IOCs such as the URLs and the IP addresses and runs them against another threat intelligence feed, which is virus total. And if all the verdicts are true positives, then it automatically blocks all the IOCs. A manual investigation would take at least five to 10 minutes, whereas this automation literally runs in the background and saves us so much time. So that's just one idea of how we can utilize the power of sandboxing efficiently in cybersecurity. That's it from me. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know in the comments on any other videos you guys would like me to make. Thanks for watching.